Hey everybody, this is Heidi from Hands Occupied here with another knitting video tutorial for you today. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to work a provisional knitting cast on using scrap yarn. There's a couple different ways to approach this type of a knitting cast on, so I'm excited to walk you through this very popular approach. To work this cast on, you're going to need a knitting needle, a crochet hook of a similar size, some scrap yarn, and also yarn for knitting your project. To begin, we're going to make a simple slip knot and tighten it up onto our crochet hook. Next, we're going to take our knitting needle and cross our crochet hook over it, forming an X. I knit continental style, so I kind of just reflexively tension my yarn in my left hand. No matter which hand you tension your yarn in, the action will be similar. So what we're gonna do is, again, keeping that tail out of the way and making sure we're working with the working end of our yarn, we're going to yarn over our crochet hook and draw a loop through the initial slip knot. I'm pausing here so that you can see how this should look. The initial slip knot has the loop drawn through it and a loop of yarn has been attached to our knitting needle. Next, we're going to bring our working yarn in between the hook and the needle and around the back of the needle. Then we're going to hook that yarn and draw a loop through the other loop on our hook. Like with a lot of cast-ons, the first stitch or two you cast on is the hardest, setting up the cast-on with those first few loops, but then it's pretty much the same thing from there, and this cast-on is no exception. So again, bringing the yarn between the hook and the needle and behind the needle, catching the yarn like so, and drawing a loop through the loop on the hook. Right now we have our working loop and one, two, three stitches cast on the needle. Let's keep going for a little while. I'm gonna speed up the video here to get to the next important part. All right, so the very last step is so simple. You can chain just a couple of stitches to remind yourself which end of the scrap yarn you'll be pulling when it comes time to release your provisional cast on. After you chain those stitches, you're going to elongate the loop, cut your scrap yarn, draw the tail through, and you're ready to begin knitting the body of your project. All right. So that's how we cast on provisionally in one step, but what do we do when we need to access those stitches again? Let's pretend using this example that we're ready to take this provisional cast on out. So what we do is we look for the end with the extra chain stitches. See how there's not anything there on the left? Now we're gonna undo the last stitch on the right by carefully drawing the tail back through the last loop. Then all we have to do is pull the tail of our provisional cast on, commonly called unzipping the cast on, to release the live stitches. Here's a close up to show you the unzipping in action. Normally you would pick up each stitch as you unzip it from the cast on, but I want you to see how it works here. See that? And now these stitches are live and can be picked up like this. See, loop, 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 loop. So for the sake of demonstration, I also want to show you what it looks like when you pick up stitches directly out of the scrap yarn cast on. You insert your needle in the stitch knit into the scrap yarn. This is where it's especially helpful to have a contrasting color of yarn for your cast on. And then you just stitch by stitch, pick up the loop and unzip the cast on. Pick up a loop and unzip the cast on. The last loop can be a little tricky. Don't forget about it. And a good tip I have is to count the number of stitches you should have on your needle to confirm you picked up all of the provisional cast on stitches. 
and because nobody's perfect I need to really quickly adjust my needle so that the pointy ends are both on the same side of my work. And now you can see that this is a knitting project with live stitches on both ends. Often at this point your pattern will call for joining both sets of live stitches together in some way, but that's a subject for another video. And that was how to work a provisional knitting cast on using scrap yarn and a crochet hook. There's another video on this channel where I walk you through another way to use a crochet hook and some scrap yarn to do this cast on. So if you find this method isn't working for you, you might want to give that one a quick glance. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a like if you like what you saw, subscribe for even more videos, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.